the rest of the mess uh, goes into our bucket and our tank, we dig it back in the yard. If you have all your extensions on, you simply put the washout watchdog bucket on the ground. And you lower your chute into it. You wash that chute, tilt it up, move your bucket up, finish the wash out of that chute, and then hang it up. Start your next one, same process. Uh, the hose is designed to work with a flop over or one chute. It can even work with two at 10 feet. It's much easier if you're just working with your flop over like now. I'll wash the chute down. I'll move it back and forth, left and right. Then I put my hose on. So I have a lot of freedom with our bucket the way it's set up with our valve. I open my valve, I extend it, I lock the chute into place, I go upstairs, I hit my fins, I do my unloading hopper, I do my hopper, and I come back down, and my bucket's already drained. I give it a quick tilt, and I'm good to go. It really doesn't take any extra time to use this washout system than if you were washing in a pit or a bin. The difference is, you don't have to drive and find one of those pits or bins. Where you put your hose is really up to your company's policy. Some people leave the hose hooked up to the inlet and the, and the valve on the bottom, and they wrap it around the tank or they secure it in some way. As you can see, there's only a couple of shovelfuls of rock inside. The aggregate's fairly clean. You can leave this on a job site if there's a pile of dirt. Grabbing the top and bottom, just dump it all out. Then I like to rinse it out on the inside, and uh, we can either clean it back at the plant or the next time we use it. Other companies just put their hose back inside our bucket. Uh, so where you use your hose is really up to uh, your company policy. Back at the plant, it's really easy to use. You get loaded, you pull out to the uh, washout area where you're going to adjust your load. You open your valve and let the water go on the ground. By the time your load's set and you come back down, the tank's empty. If there's a place to dump it, I dump the aggregate on the ground. I hit it with a hose real quick. I get all the concrete back in the bottom. Put the bucket back in the rack. You can keep your bucket very clean with just a little bit of maintenance. You undo the plug on the bottom. Open your lid. You wash it out. And you put the plug back on. Put the lid back on and you're ready to go. Our tank is made out of plastic. It's really easy to keep clean and maintain.